Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Thursday, the 18th day of July 2024. Open your mouth this morning and be saying, Amen, I believe as I receive. Today, I want to pray with you and agree with you over your expectations and your heart desires that you are still waiting eagerly for. Today, I want to pray and decree that your expectations shall not be disappointed in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says the expectation of the righteous shall not, be, shall not be defeated. So, I am praying and agree with somebody this morning who is eagerly waiting for something to click today. My prayer and my supplication to God on your behalf is that those things that you are trusting and believing God for, I decree them to come to pass in your life now in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody is expecting a letter of recommendation from somewhere, whether certificate of sponsorship or a letter of recommendation. You are just expecting a document that will connect you to a higher place. I am agreeing with you this morning that in the name that is above every other name, that document or those documents you are expecting shall come handy today in jesus name i am praying for somebody who is saying amen that the wish of the evil ones the wish of the enemies shall not come to pass over your life in jesus name i am praying for somebody that evil prophecy evil revelation evil dreams shall not find its way of expression they shall not come to pass in your life in your home, in your career, in your business, and in your work, whatever the Lord did not say about you, whatever is not coming from the mouth of the Lord concerning your family, in as much as it is from the enemy, not from God, I cancel them today in Jesus' name. Somebody you have been dreaming of late, seeing dead people, and seeing all kind of horrible things in your dream. Today, I am praying that the Lord will grant you victory over your dream in jesus name I, I i i charge you in the name of the lord receive victory in your dream life in jesus name every one of us as we go out today i decree by the authority of heaven that the lord will go ahead of you today the lord will preserve you the lord will command his blessings to be upon your life in jesus name you are blessed and you are lifted somebody shout amen I believe as I receive. Praise God. Hallelujah. Today in our Bible reading, or let me let me uh, say first and foremost, I want to sincerely apologize for the mistake yesterday. You know, we are all humans. Nobody is nobody is exempted from making mistake. I made a mistake yesterday by saying that the book of, that uh, what we read yesterday, Jeremiah forty nine and fifty, by saying that was the last two chapters. No. We, are, we still have two more chapters, and those are the chapters we are reading today. Jeremiah chapters 51 and 52. But I must, I must sincerely say I am grateful to God with the number of calls, text messages, WhatsApp messages that came to us yesterday. Say, Daddy, please, we still have two more chapters. It, it gladdens my heart to know that many people are following the Bible reading. And I'm glad that my listeners... And not just people who will hear a, who will he just hear what the preacher says without following it up themselves. That reminds me of the Berean Christians in the book of Acts of the Apostles who were not satisfied with only what Paul was telling them. They were saying they searched the scriptures daily. So all of you that sent messages across, and even those of you who did not send message, but you just prayed in your heart, say, Oh Lord, please let your servant know that we still have two more chapters. God have answered your prayers. So today, we are taking the last two chapters, Jeremiah chapters 51 and 52. The book of Jeremiah chapters 51 and 52. The Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Today, in our daily communion with God, we are on page 212. Page 212. And the heavenly meal that is sought for us is the secret place. The secret place that is our in our daily devotional book on page 212 with the heavenly meal the secret place of the lord please read and the lord will bless you 
I want to share some testimony this morning, and then we'll come back to hear the word. I'm grateful to God. Testimonies have started pouring in from Adamawa and Taraba states as a result of our visit to those two states. The first one I'm taking this morning say, my coordinator, the person sent this uh, testimony to our Adamawa state coordinator to be forwarded to me so that the testimony can be shared. Say, my, my coordinator, I am a woman that called you this morning of what the Lord have done to me through our daddy in the person of Reverend Yola. I met daddy one-on-one -on -one last week, Thursday, about a payment that I've been believing God for from Delta State, as about to be precise. Um, to the glory of God, to the shame of the devil, I received a call yesterday afternoon that they want to see me in the state before Thursday. I want to return all glory to the Most High. Please uh, help me to share my testimony to Daddy. Heaven at last. I am so so passing from Jimeta, Yola, Adamawa State. Wow, that is great. We appreciate the name of the Lord for testimonies are pouring in. Another one is here. Another testimony is here. He said, this one said, uh, sorry. Okay, this one said, good morning, Daddy Anela. I want to use the, this medium to thank Almighty for using you to deliver me from the spirit of masturbation. When you came to Port Harcourt, after your preaching, there was heavy downpour. I joined some people to dance under the rain, unlike me. After that, I went in to see you one-on-one. -on -one. I told you that I'm 42 years old. I'm not married. I'm not married yet and into masturbation. And you told the spirit, you told the spirit behind it that you told me that the spirit behind you told me about the spirit behind it that makes me not to get married. You never mind that I was soaked. You laid your hand on me and prayed for me. Since that day till now, I have not masturbated, and I thank God that I've been delivered. Again, thank you, Jesus. May the oil on your head never run dry. In Jesus' name. Wow. Secondly, I've been expecting money to pay someone. I've been expecting, secondly, I'm expecting money to pay someone I'm owing. And the money was not forthcoming. So I took the mantle, the handkerchief to wrap my phone by one midnight, by one in the middle of the night. I woke up to go and hit myself. And I checked my phone and I saw a message. Lo and behold, it's what I was expecting. May God Almighty continue to bless you, sir. I pray heaven at last. I'm so so person from Port Accord. Wow, to God be the glory. Let me take one more. This is from Jalingo, Taraba State. Say, Good evening, my spiritual father. Hope you have a smooth and successful journey back home from Adamawa and Taraba States. Daddy, please kindly share my testimony because God has really done a great thing in my life. My names are so so person. I am a soldier serving in Jalingo, Taraba State, and I'm a listener of Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional Prayer. I attended your program from the first day being Friday to the last day. I was among those that repented and gave their life to Christ, and you prayed for us on the first day. But the enemies were not, but the enemy was not happy at all. Because after the evening service, when I got home and I slept that night, I saw myself somewhere, and the people that I saw there I couldn't explain. And there was a man that tried to give me a handshake, and I was scared. It's a very lengthy testimony. But the truth is, God took over. He was attacked with strange illness, and as a result of the prayers in Jalingo, the Lord healed him. To God be the glory. Father, we thank you for this wonderful and blessed testimonies. May your name be exalted in Jesus' name. Now, let's hear the word. We've been talking for the past two days about possessing the right attitude, how and why it is good for us as Christians to have good godly and positive attitude this morning let me take a little bit further by looking at benefits of good attitude where you possess good attitude there are a lot of things that we that we that it will bring into your life the first one i want to share with us this morning is if you have good attitude you will walk in the light in the light you will always have light around you meaning that you will never walk in the dark because God will always surround you with good people. In Matthew chapter six, Matthew chapter five, 
Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16. Matthew 5, 16, the Lord Jesus speaking, said, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Another one says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good attitude. And by so doing, men will praise your Father in heaven. When you, when you possess good attitude, the, the, you will always walk in the light of God. Even if there's any danger ahead, the people around you, will all, God will always surround you with good people who will never allow you to fall into the pit of the enemy. But if your attitude is not good, if your attitude is bad, even when people see what is going to harm you, nobody is going to talk to you. Nobody is going to draw you. Nobody is going to raise a voice of caution because, in fact, people will be waiting for you to fall into the ditch and so that they can so that they can make a jest of you. But if your attitude is good, there will always be light for you. Darkness cannot can never find a place to hibernate or to wreak havoc in your life. Tomorrow, I will let us know another benefit of good attitude. I put it to you this morning, child of God. You need to possess good, right, and godly attitude. Jesus said, let your light, let your attitude be seen by men, and they will glorify your Father in heaven. I said it two days ago. I said it yesterday. It is not true that it is household enemies that are responsible for some of the things we go through in life. Some of them could be as a result of bad, bad attitude of some people. Some, they don't have manners. Some people don't know how to talk. Some people don't have interpersonal relationship. Some people don't know how to greet with courtesy. You know, you, you, especially our youngsters now, our youngsters, in those days when we were little children, you see an elderly person coming, not necessarily that person is not, con not necessarily the person is your, right, your, your real parent. But as long as that person is an elderly person, you collect the load from that individual. But today, even you see a father and mother, you see a father and son walking side by side. The son or the daughter will not even say, Dad, let me carry this load for you. That is a bad attitude. I want you to check your life, check your attitude, check your uh, before you blame the devil, before you blame witches and wizards, before you blame household enemy for what you are going through and your predicament, check your attitude. The last time somebody wanted to help you, how did you relate? How do you react? Praise God. Hallelujah. Tomorrow, we'll continue from here. Remember to read your Bible today, the last book of Jeremiah, the last of the last. Jeremiah chapters 51 and 52. And read your daily communion with God on page 212. The heavenly meal there is the secret place. May the Lord bless you today. May the Lord prosper you. And may God keep you fit always. In Jesus' name, amen.